So this is basically what I'm doing here is I'm writing a, I'm drawing a, a nuclear equation. So just like in chemistry, you have chemical equations, but this is not a chemical reaction. This is a nuclear reaction. What's happening is the nucleus is changing from one thing to another. So in the case of this general sort of um, equation for nuclear equation, nuclear decay, where something becomes something else and produces uh, and gives off some radiation, we have the same thing over here as an example, polonium becoming lead and giving off some sort of radiation. Looking at the periodic table, I've forgotten what it said now. Uh, let's just have another look again. So there, here's lead, here's polonium. Lead's eight, uh, got an atomic number of 82. Polonium's got an atomic number of 84. So let's, whoops, let's write that. So 80, 82. And this had an atomic number of 84. Now, the the atomic number, I know that for certain. I know the mass number is different from the periodic table. Let's look at polonium again. Polonium was, it says 209, and lead is 207. Well, lead's 207, that's correct. But that one says 211, not 209. The periodic table said 209. That's because this is a different version of lead than we have on the period, sorry, of polonium than we have on the periodic table. So there are different types of atoms which we refer to as isotopes. So they, we can have different, we say the word different types, we could say we have different isotopes of atoms. But this particular type or this particular isotope of polonium has a mass number of 211, but it's still polonium, so it's still got an atomic number of 84. Okay. Okay, so we've gone from 80, uh, the atomic number went from 84 to 82. The mass number went from 211 to 207. Well, that meant the mass number went down by four, which means that this thing that's over here must have a mass number of four. The atomic number went by, down by two, which means this must have an atomic number of two, because that's where the rest of it must have gone. Now, remember that the atomic number is the number of protons. So I'm going to write a, I'm going to do a comment here. Whoops, I'll do that again. So um, I'm going to write a comment just to say this is the atomic number. And it tells me the number of protons. Whoops, protons. And I'm going to do another comment up here. Whoops, no, try that again. Another comment up here. Just to say that's the mass number, um, which is the number of protons plus neutrons. So if you remember from the last lesson, then the, the protons have a mass number of one and so do neutrons, right? So, we, so all together, we would, you know, this 211 is the amount of protons plus neutrons together. Um, so this so that means that this um, this thing over here um, mass number um, so so basically the um, this alpha particle has got mass number four and uh, atomic number two. So I say this particle has got that's um, got mass number four, atomic number two, and they called it they called it an alpha particle. So they said, oh, when you know these things, we're going to call them alpha particles. Um, they may not have known. Um, they may not have known what an alpha particle is, but um, but that, that's what it was. Now, I, the more detail about alpha radiation is my in my other video anyway, so I won't go. I won't spend any more time talking about that. But that's an alpha particle.